Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing from Vinegar Syndrome, so stick around. So today I've received my order from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, the box came like this, which makes me really nervous. Hopefully they packaged it well enough to where it did not have any damage. Um, I did order quite a bit. It's a pretty heavy box. Um, so hopefully there's no damage. If there is, I hope that Vinegar Syndrome will make it right. Um, but we will see. Can't remember exactly everything that I got in this package. But everything seems to be wrapped pretty nicely. So first up, I'm just going to remove... Okay, so I did get some clear cases to kind of protect some of these things. I got one of each that they sell so that I can figure out which one I need to purchase next time. Which still may be a little confusing because I don't know which one is which. But it was a good way to fill up the order. Okay, so I'm just going to take out each one. Okay, first up we have the Civil Dead. Pretty nice looking slipcover. Um, got the inside artwork. The um, information on this one seemed pretty interesting. We have the Phantom Gunslinger. And also we have Fanny Hill. So I don't know if that's two separate movies in one packaging. But I got them both. Um, Hell Comes to Frogtown. I missed out on the initial release of this, so I wanted to be sure to add this one to the collection. Would have loved to have had the slipcover for the other one. Never seen this film. And then we have Bullets Over Summer. Really nice looking slipcover. Here's the back and the inside artwork. So very happy. And then the next package we have Attack of the Demons. So really interesting looking artwork on this one. It is an animated film. Young Bodies Heal Quickly. So all of these I did, like I said, researched and watched trailers before I purchased them to make sure I'd get what I wanted to get. Mutant War and Battle of the Lost Planet. So I'm not sure if there's two of these films in this one. Interesting artwork. And then I got A Blade in the Dark based off of this slip box. It's a really nice looking box with it opening up like this. And just a really nice inner packaging. So very happy to have that one. Hopefully I got something that will keep that one protected. And then the last bundle we have we have Rotting Wrongs, another slip box edition, great looking artwork. And then on the inside, we have a booklet and this slip, great looking artwork. And then we have Boggy Creek 2 with this slip box. So happy to have that one. Okay, next up we have Norway. Um, not familiar with this one either. Pretty cool looking slip. And then here's the actual Blu-ray disc. Special features. Um, I have heard some things about this one, but still not very familiar with it. And then we have the Hourglass Sanatorium. Cool looking slip. And I believe these are some of the recommendations that I got from a few people. Mainly um, one person in particular who recommended it after I watched um, his video. Then I have at the video store. Really cool looking slip. I believe this one is a documentary. 
like the VHS tape. Um, and then I finally picked up Ted Bundy. I do like a, a true crime type film. Great looking slip box. Then of course the same artwork underneath. I've never seen this one, but definitely looking forward to checking this one out. I do love true crime. And then I got The Cellar. This creature coming up out of the cellar. Not familiar with it. Really cool looking slip cover on the inside. Another one that I saw someone um, unbox is this one here. I want to say that it says a new old play. There's the back. Cool looking artwork. I'm not familiar with this one. And then we have Trouble Every Day. Really cool looking slip. The inside. Heard good things about this one. And then we have The Tales of Tsar Salton. Really nice looking artwork. This right here was another one that I saw someone unbox. So happy to have that one. And of course, lastly, we have Showgirls. Um, never seen this film before. I hear a lot of bad things about it. Um, but I do have all of these. Um, titles in the collection so I didn't want to miss out on it. We open it up. We have this slip cover. You can really smell it. Got a real cardboard like smell about it. And a booklet. So I'm pretty happy with all these titles. Um, I was really trying to be picky about what I um, got. I looked at the numbers of available titles still in the collection. Um, if it was a low number, then I pretty much jumped on it. Um, and if it has some really cool box art, like the, a Blade in the Dark, then I definitely wanted to get it. So those are kind of my decisions that I that I made before I made these purchases. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular unboxing. Let me know which titles that you picked up during the latest Vinegar Syndrome sale because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.